So we are all packed up. I am the last one. I was just doing one more round through the house. Saying goodbye to Kitty too. I had to give her a little love because we are gonna be gone for a week. And the first we are off to Arkansas. We're taking the RV south from Illinois and we are gonna go explore Arkansas. Are you someone who loves to travel? Do you have a family who loves adventure and exploration? We are the Traveling Frews, a family of five focusing on the positive, loving nature, and creating adventures as we travel this amazing planet of ours in our new Class A motorhome. We're on a mission to explore as much of this world as possible. We haven't been everywhere yet, but it's on our list. We're learning as we go and can't wait to share all our new knowledge with you. If you're looking for road trip ideas, suggestions for a day trip, inspiration for a weekend getaway, or simply just want to be entertained, subscribe to our channel, The Traveling Fruz. Right, everybody's already in the RV waiting on me. All right. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Where are we going? Arkansas. Arkansas. You excited? Oliver, what? Is that how you climb out of the, the bench? No. It's open the Yeah? Mom? Yeah? You want your pizza now? This neat. Yeah, I see barn. Yeah. Oh my so God. we drove in the RV all the way to Arkansas, and our first stop was the Pfeiffer Hemingway Hemingway Pfeiffer Museum. And of course, we got here nine minutes after they closed. But here's the barn. This is the barn that Hemingway used as his studio. During the 1930s, the barn was converted to a studio to give Hemingway privacy for writing while visiting his in-laws. Portions of one of his most famous novels, A Farewell to Arms, and several short stories were written here. It's okay. You still get to walk around the outside. The Hemingway Pfeiffer Museum and Educational Center includes the family home of his second wife, Pauline Pfeiffer. Fate would have it as we were spying through the windows, an employee spotted us, and we ended up getting our own private tour. Both the home and the barn studio were listed on the National Historic Register in 1982. The properties have been restored and renovated with a focus on the 1930s era. Our late arrival at the Hemingway Pfeiffer Museum didn't prevent us, after all, from making some wonderful memories here at this beautiful property in Piggott, Arkansas. Holly, what? When we come back here, how old are you going to be? Uh, maybe seven years old or ten years old. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Okay. Maybe seven or ten. Seven or ten. Right. 
friends, we just got to our next destination. Here we are in, is it Walnut Ridge? Mm -hmm. At Beatles Park. Beatles Park pays tribute to a visit from the legendary rock band to Walnut Ridge on September 18th, 1964. The Beatles landed in a small plane at the Walnut Ridge Airport on their way to a weekend vacation at a dude ranch in southern Missouri. The Beatles' Abbey Road sculpture is a 10 feet by 20 feet, 200 square foot sculpture of the iconic Abbey Road album that was released by the Beatles in 1969. The sculpture was created by a Walnut Ridge resident named Danny West to honor the historic stopover in his hometown. This visit was the only time the Beatles were ever in Arkansas. destination for the evening is Brood Farm in Cave City, Arkansas. Brood Farm's mission is to connect people just like us with their food. Farm is a harvest host destination and will allow self-contained RVs onto their property for one night. It's wonderful to have local farmers share their knowledge, experience, and homes with RVers and families on the road. So here we are at Brood Farm out walking around and exploring and she has strawberries in this greenhouse so we are going down to pick strawberries Here's a quote from the Brood Farm website. We are proud to be rooted in the sandy, rocky soil of this part of the world. And as we work to be good, small farmers of it, we will work to be good neighbors to the folks who celebrate it and struggle in it too. If you're ever in Cave City, I recommend stopping by and checking out this amazing farm. Well, that's a wrap on our day one road trip adventures in Arkansas. We do regular travel videos with tips and tricks for family adventure in our Class A motorhome. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing to our channel.